Yo, what is going on, you guys? This is Cod Flaws, and in today's video, I got an awesome glitch for you guys that will allow you to duplicate cars on GTA 5 online. So, what this basically does is your duplicated car goes to your friend. So, you guys, with this glitch, you guys could basically give your cars to your friend. So, when you guys duplicate your car, the duplicated car goes to your friend, and you guys get to keep your car. So, this is very good to exchange cars with your friends that your friends maybe cannot, can't afford or don't have the customizations or the high enough level to do some customization or something like that. And, um, you know, a new DLC will be coming out soon, so I'm pretty sure a lot of people won't have enough money for the new cars. So if you have enough money, you will be able to duplicate it for your friend. So this is definitely a very useful glitch as cars are one of the main things in GTA 5, and, you know, they're a lot of fun to use. But before I start, if you guys could leave a like on the video, that would be much appreciated. So this glitch is actually very simple, and this is a detailed tutorial, and I'm going to be showing you guys everything you guys could actually do with this glitch. So as you guys can see, there's a chrome car parked right in front of the garage and that is actually my friend's car and he's gonna be duplicating it for me and letting it um, be my personal vehicle so what he did is took it outside of his garage and parked it sideways to the garage and you can't park it too close and you guys can't park it too far because if it's too close you know you might go into the garage so just make sure it's parked far enough that you guys don't go inside of your garage and close enough so you will be able to get into it in time when you guys do the glitch so all you guys want to do is pick out any awesome car from your friend's garage and tell them to park it sideways outside of your garage not too close and not too far exactly like my friend did after that just be inside of your garage and then all you guys want to do is click start go over to online and then change your spawn location to garage so once you guys change your spawn location all you guys want to do is get inside of any vehicle that you guys don't care about this vehicle will be gone so get into any crappy vehicle you guys have or no longer want so basically this car will be replaced with the car out Outside, that is my friends so this right over here is the most important part of the glitch all you guys want to do is pull up your phone and then go to a quick job and then click on join contact mission and where it says are you sure you guys want to click a and RT at the exact same time and once you guys click a and RT at the same time you guys just want to hold it down for 10 seconds or until the game loads up with um, people in the menu so once this screen right here loads up I'll just call it a pregame lobby so once this loads up you guys just want to wait until it lets you to quit so all you guys want to do is click B to quit and then confirm so once you guys quit out and the glitch was done correctly You guys will spawn inside of like this glitch garage Then all you guys want to do is just run outside of your garage as fast as you can and then get into your friend's vehicle And once you guys are inside of your friend's vehicle You guys don't want to get out and then it's gonna kind of glitch out and drive you outside of your garage And it's gonna kick me out But if you guys look at the mini map There's a tracker on the vehicle and it duplicated across the street So this is the duplicated version of the car my friend successfully duplicated duplicated his car and gave it to me now if he wants his car back it said on his screen it was destroyed so all he wants to do is call up Moore's mutual insurance to get it back so as you guys can see this awesome car that my friend gave me went inside of the place of the crappy vehicle I had earlier so now this is the perspective of my screen giving a friend to my car and as you guys can see he's in that glitched mode and then all he did was went inside of my vehicle and once he went inside of my vehicle it kind of glitched out drove him outside of the garage kicked him out and then the car for his screen had a tracker on it across the street in a little different place but as you guys can see on my screen it says your personal vehicle has been destroyed you can call Moore's Mutual Insurance to make a claim so I just pulled up my phone called Moore's Mutual Insurance and got my car back so I gave my car to my friend and I still kept it for myself so now we just drove over to Moore's Mutual Insurance and as you guys can see we both have the exact same vehicle because I gave him that one so not only can you guys take your friend's vehicles you guys could also take sports or supercars off of the street as you guys can see I have a comment and it doesn't let me take it into my garage because it says it has a tracker on it so to put inside of your garage you guys could either park it halfway on the curb and halfway on the street and what that does is it doesn't make the car despawn when you guys go inside of your garage so that's a solo method when you guys do the quick job um, glitch but you know this is a much easier method because you guys get into your car faster so just um, park your car close to the garage and make your friend stand on top of it so when you guys go inside of your garage it doesn't despawn but if you guys don't have a friend to do this glitch with you just park your car halfway on the curb and halfway on the street so as you guys can see now I have done the glitch correctly all I have to do is go inside of the car and then just drive it inside of my garage and the car didn't actually despawn because my friend was standing on top of it if my friend wasn't standing on top of it the car would despawn so if you guys want to do it solo like I said park your car halfway on the curb and halfway on the street but it's much harder to do because you guys have to run a further distance and this glitch only lasts like not too long for you to actually get into the car 
but obviously same rules apply this car will get replaced with the crappy car you guys did the glitch in and obviously you guys still have to do the join contact mission and click a and rt at the exact same time and hold it for around 10 seconds so same method applies for taking your friends vehicles or random sports or supercars off of the street so the awesome thing about this glitch is that you guys could actually do it with any garage and if you guys are having any problems don't get frustrated because sometimes it may take a few tries and also when you guys change your spawn location to garage to make it actually a apply and save the changes that your spawn location is on garage just put on a hat and then take off the hat and then the spawn location should be saved but anyways this glitch is very simple to do and hopefully it does work for you if you guys have any problems just comment down and i'll try helping you guys out but anyways if you guys did enjoy this glitch and you found it helpful please leave a like on the video also comment down what you guys think and please subscribe so you guys never miss a gta 5 video that's been caught and i'm out peace thanks for watching